Hello, cult members. Welcome to the Pop Culture Cult. I'm Sean. I'm Janice. And this is our review of the Netflix series Lost in Space. I'm going to put the spoiler thing up, but let's be honest. The title of the show is a spoiler. They get <laughs> lost in space and shit goes down. <gasps> right. It's the whole show. I mean, if, you, if you're not familiar, there was an original show in the 60s called Lost in Space. Um, it was about the Robinsons um, going, it was like it was like the first like real sci-fi episodic TV show. It even yeah. predated uh, Star Trek. Yeah, oh yeah. And so um, it was a big deal when it came out in the 60s that this um, sci-fi show was on network TV uh, every whatever it was, Tuesday night or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And it was a big deal and it lasted for three seasons and then they made um, a really, really bad movie in the 2000s with Matthew Perry and a Did bunch of different really? people. Yeah, it was... Okay. Mm, we, it's been... Marks scrubbed from, from scrubbed our from, minds. Yeah, the silence is over <laughs> here behind us, t- racing all the bad stuff. Um, but then Netflix announced that they're going to do this new series, and it's based off the original TV show. And um, we were like, really? Because there wasn't really a whole lot of talk about um, this new series until the trailer came up like right. a month ago or something. Right, which seems to be Netflix MO recently. Yeah. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Surprise. Yeah, and I'm, I, I mean, we could really like go deep into the internet which could be good or bad and uh and find out you know what they're working on and stuff but i i kind of like this um uh this surprise kind of thing yeah you're not building up uh you know preconceived expectations right right and so this trailer came out and we were like okay that's check it's got a robots in it and check they're in <laughs> space and check and so we were really interested in it so we sat down this weekend and we binged it all in one day yep because it's 10 episodes yep and i think the longest episode was an hour and five minutes so yeah yep. uh, and we've talked about it a lot on this show specifically me about series being 8 10 12 episodes yep. is like the perfect length yes and it Absolutely was. When it was over last night, I was like, I'm glad it didn't go any longer than it did. Yeah. I think it it drug out. That sounds bad, but it drug out just as long as it needed yeah, to. Yeah. <laughs> if it was like, let's say if it was on, uh, I hate to pick on CW, but they're the ones that do it the most right now for us. Is yeah. They drag on like an extra five or eight episodes yeah. of, of exposition, really. And that really sometimes pays off and sometimes doesn't. And with these like Netflix, uh, part of the reason we love Stranger Things so much is that you can, it is it is a condensed yeah. model. It's an eight-hour movie, you know? Well, and the format, so they kept the format a lot like the original TV show where each, you know, each week the Robinsons face a new, yeah. you know, thing. And yeah. so after a while you're like, can we just get off this planet yeah. <laughs> this planet's horrible i think it was, they even one of the the girls even said i hate this planet I hate this planet <laughs> i think i was on episode five and i was just like man this fuck fuck this planet yeah man, just get out <laughs> just get out and that was one of the things that i i liked i i it was one of the things that i actually like was not i didn't like and then ended up coming around to how much i liked it was there was like you're saying each episode had its new problem to solve yeah and as much as um i was going to complain about it one of my favorite movies of all time is the martian and the martian deals with yeah you solve this problem and then you solve this problem and then you solve this problem and then if you solve enough problems you get to go home yep (laughs) and that was kind of what this was it was each new episode gave them something new to kind of go along with yeah yeah and uh and i like too that they did um they didn't do it with every episode, but they did the flashbacks about why, um, wh- how they left, why they left Earth, and how they left Earth, and why they were as a as a family that went, and yeah. uh, the dynamics between, um, uh, Marin, Marin, Marina, no, yeah, John and more Marine, Marine, okay, Marine, yeah, Marine, yeah. um, were the mom and dad. And the the issues with them, you know, he's a military guy. She's a scientist. Um, yeah. And she was helping build this um, 
deep space program yeah thing or whatever and uh so it would flash back and forth about why they left earth and the the issues that was going on with them but that wasn't like the main thing the main thing was them on this planet right and uh and and just each new thing that to solve the problems and i just thought that was it, it became something i really appreciated yeah yep yeah so what's what you gotta do yeah yeah <laughs> yeah yeah uh what, was, what, what are some of the things you liked what were some of the things you liked it's been a long couple of days for us guys yeah um i i, I appreciated the kind of callbacks to the show um yeah. they it tried to differentiate itself from the original you know their um again spoilers you probably shouldn't watch the this if you haven't watched it but um they're stuck on this planet with others. Yeah, I like the, that. A bunch of ships kind of um, crash there or whatever. And I don't remember that being the case in the original. It's been a long time since I've seen the original series, but I'm pretty sure it was just them. Yeah, um, yeah. And, you know, the the robot, you know, and the Danger Will Robinson. Yeah. <laughs> which... The robot had to say that because that's what know, everybody about, knows. The only thing that the robot said, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, you know, um, Dr. Smith, even though um, in the original it was um, a, a guy because 60s women weren't doctors then. Right. Um, and in this one, it's Parker Posey. They still, y- you still, like, I remember Dr. Smith being just you just were never sure what side he was on he was kind of creepy and um you know he lied to be there to begin with and and he was kind of sleazy you know he would do things to further his own agenda and not help the team get off the planet and and she really encapsulated that so i appreciated that that stuff but I, it was a whole new story it was you know? yeah it, and parker posey did a really really good job being yeah. this um <laughs> she's a good bad guy she's a good bad guy she she you know she, and she's been around like if you go check her imdb she's got a ton of credits on her on her name yeah. and i remember most from blade uh, it, um uh man of steel uh, not man of steel superman returns the one with uh brandon roth she's Oh, Lex yeah. Luthor's. I was like well, flitting through. I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot she was in that. Yeah. And so, yeah. I, but um, I I was really impressed with the casting. Um, one of the the there's three kids. There's John. Uh, there's William. Will. Will. Uh, Judy and Penny. Judy is black, and they make a point of of not pointing it out that she is of a different race, but of the rest of the family. But she's still part of the family. Yeah. But then they also explain that um, Marin is her, her her real mom, and John is not her real dad. Right. And 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 but he still like raises her, and ha- being a step parent myself, and understanding that you know that this is my you're part of my family, you're part of my drive. I'm going to take care of you. Yeah. That was yeah. it was it was a nice modernization of that storyline, having an you know. Single mom who finds a guy and, and, you know, and that that kind of storytelling process. I thought that was really cool. But the yep. kids were awesome. Yeah. Yeah. The kids were uh, – the kid, uh, Maxwell Jenkins, who played Will Robinson, was great. Yeah. Not good. <clears throat> great as William. Yeah. As, uh, as Will. And it just I, – I, I, He kind of carries the show, too. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a lot about him and – the robot and the robot and yeah like <laughs> yeah it's just a lot about him the the one girl that you said was part italian part swedish swedish yeah um the the redhead what was her name penny. judy was it penny penny yeah. okay um she never like her episode didn't happen until like almost the end yeah yeah <laughs> like will had a lot of episodes yeah. that were his fault or he was it, it was about him and, yeah, yeah judy had a couple of episodes like in the yeah, middle too that yeah. were kind of her her yeah. episodes and stuff um the three of them together specifically um judy and penny play really well off of each other that yeah i that i really appreciated the writing and the way it was um the way it was um portrayed by the actors that 
we're all very smart, but we're also very much siblings. And so there's teenagers pokes and yeah. prods yeah. and, you know, kind of bickering back and forth. But yet they still love each other. And they're yeah. still, you know, uh, I'll protect you. You protect me. And that kind of thing. I thought that was yeah. an, and a nice family dynamic that you don't get to see a lot. And they were smart. And so it would have been easy to have forgotten that they were kids. Yeah. Um, but. You know, there's the one Penny walks into Will's room and she's like, oh, oh, yeah. what is that smell? Yeah. You know, because he's like a 10 year old boy or whatever, <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. and and then Penny kind of falls for this boy and he treats her badly. Yeah. And she's yeah. like, eh, I'm, I'm uh, over oh, you. I'm over you. I'm done. <laughs> I, I just I could I could watch the three of them and uh whatever you know yeah. kind of thing i the three of them just doing you know uh homework with new math would be <laughs> hilarious which just i think it would be awesome um one of the a couple of other things that i wanted to talk about was the sets yeah N netflix put some money into the show um almost everything was practical including the robot yeah there's a couple times where the robot cgi but but the robot itself was actually played by a person and um but the the ship itself was a real like it was it, like it, the interior was well designed and mm -hmm. very clean and stuff. But there's also they kept walking by this one section of the of the wall where the panel had exploded during the crash. Yeah, and so the the, the, the scorch marks, the scorch marks through, the are, oh, through the whole thing. Through the whole thing. There's these rover vehicles. Yeah, they're all practical. Um, uh, there's you know like I said there's some CGI but the CGI was really good for a TV show. Yeah. You know? Yeah, definitely. And, and the, just the, wherever it was that they filmed was, uh, we was were amazing. talking Van, uh, Washington state, uh, cause there was snow for mountains and trees. And then there's like high plains desert. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. I, but it could be Vancouver cause everything's filmed in Vancouver right now. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, maybe. but just th that was really cool. And the music. Yeah. The the tie in with the the modern modern again modernizing the original original, original yeah. stuff and, and it was you could hear it throughout like it would be slower or faster but it was still the same theme song yeah just yeah but I, I just the Netflix I, I don't know I don't know what bank they robbed or <laughs> or. It's called who, our wallets. Who who for are nine ninety nine a month? Who they're blowing or I don't, I don't know. Just, I heard something. They're the ninth largest or eighth largest now, um, entertainer entertainment provider of content. Yeah. So yeah. you know they're getting in that 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 realm. But I mean, just all the stuff they're putting out, all the stuff that's coming, they're putting a hundred million dollars into that Martin Scorsese movie with yeah. Robert De Niro. If and it out, ever comes if out, if it ever comes out, the Irishman or whatever. I probably get two to three YouTube notices a day of stuff on YouTube or on uh, Netflix. Netflix. Yeah. Uh, it's like, Jesus. Yeah. yeah. And I, I, for me, I really liked that. I, I liked binging the whole show. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and we, we talked about this in the past being able to sit down and binge a whole thing or we've got a thousand things that we want to do. Most of them deal with, you know, working on our laptops or whatever. And so uh, being able to put it in the background and still watch it and stuff like that. There are a few shows that we like to binge that we have to close our laptops and pay attention to this one. You can, there's times where you have to kind of pay attention, but for the most part, it's, it's a good watch, but you can be engaged in doing a couple of different things yeah, at the same yeah, time. I and was that's doing laundry and yeah. doing some arts and craftsy things. So. Yeah. yeah. So overall, I think we, both really liked it yeah i would yeah. say so um with our movie reviews we do one to five pops stars whatever you want to call it um but for um our our tv reviews of a series we're gonna do something a little different and we're gonna say binge now sit down binge it it's eight up it's 10 episodes it's you know like i said it's a it's a sunday just sit around and do nothing yeah binge it now um don't wait um, because what will end up happening is that you will um, end up getting sucked into something else and you will realize, you know, eight months down the line where we're all still talking about how awesome Boston Space was. And you're like, oh, I never watched that. Watch it now. Yeah. Because they're going to come. There's going to be some stuff that comes along later on. 
uh, I'm not, I don't know anything official, but there's going to be, there's going to be conversations that happen down the line and people are going to be like, what about season two? What about, you know? Yeah. Well, they totally set it up yeah. for yeah. A, a next season. I would expect that to happen. Yeah, and it's yeah. gotten a lot of buzz. So I think that they'll be happy with the. Yeah. And there's, there's a ton of buzz on it on social media right now. So if it's not infinity war, it's lost in space. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> with so, Deadpool thrown in there with Deadpool. Well. Now, now they started the Deadpool campaign. So <laughs> overall binge it now, definitely worth the watch. And, uh, I did it, amazing television, amazing television. Yeah. I could totally watch it again. Maybe not right now. Cause we have a million other things to watch, yeah. but maybe over the summer. Yeah. We'll, f- we'll figure out some, some going on there. So that's our thoughts on lost in space. What did you guys think? Have you watched it? Have you finished it? Are you still working your way through it? I had one of the guys at work said it was boring. I think he's high. <laughs> uh, so tell us what you think, like this video and leave us a comment about your thoughts on lost in space. And, and tell us if, if did you watch the original series the movie doesn't exist and it's just let us know uh also subscribe to the channel the buttons up here somewhere hit subscribe hit the bell so you get notifications while we're uploading uh new videos all the time you can get a hold of us too on social media facebook the pop culture cult pop culture cult one on instagram and at pop underscore cult one on twitter we're also the, on the stardust app download it for free react to everything that you're watching we didn't do any stardust on Lost in Space because we just got sucked in and we're just like, okay, the next episode starts in three, yeah. <laughs> two, one, go. So we're, we're trying to get all, all that stuff done. Anything else? Nope. Till next time. Good night now.